Hi all! A couple of years ago I decided to do little work on the cooling system of my car. I have an Audi A6 C5 engine volume 2.4 gasoline. In the end I did a full engine flash. Then I separately flashed the main radiator and replaced the cabin heater. During all the manipulations I found small traces of oil film and the expansion tank. And this is the first scene that because of the leakage of the cooling system exhaust gases break through into the antifreeze. In most cases because of the puncture cylinder head gasket. You can determine the presence of exhaust gases in the antifreeze. You can use special kits to check the leakage of CO2, carbon dioxide. But since they are obscenely expensive, I decided for more modest money to assemble my own tester, which is used by many car owners. To do this, I bought a water trap, picked up sautable seal for the expansion tank and bought a liquid indicator in the aquarium store. We unscrewed the cap of the expansion tank through a suitable seal we insert the water trap into the tank. Then we pour indicator fluid into the water trap and start the engine. The check is carried out while the engine is running at idle. Exhaust gazing entering the engine cooling system well, accumulate in the expansion tank and pass through a special fluid in the water trap. If the fluid indicator changes color from blue to green, it means that a small amount of exhaust gas is bursting into the cooling system. And if it turns yellow, then there is a lot of gas in the antifreeze. Those who have carried out such tests tell us that the fluid begins to change color after just one minute of engine operation. In my case, after a minute and then after five minutes, nothing changed. I warmed up the engine to operation temperature during the test and periodically increased the idle speed. You can see from the water trap that the liquid is bubbling, which means that the vapors are coming out of the expansion tank, but the color does not change. Either I bought substandard drop checker fluid, or there is nothing wrong with the engine. It is also worth adding that if the gas analyzer shout the presence of exhaust gases in the antifreeze, it does not mean that it is 100% necessary to change the cylinder head gasket, because the reason may be different. For example, cracked or sagging liners in the engine block or a faulty EJR radiator or head exchanger. That's all, see you soon in the next videos.